Obviously, ten became eight. Samantha, you've lost your place in the celebrity Big Brother house. Danica, you have 30 seconds to say your goodbyes. That was horrible. Tonight... Oh, my God, it's the mail. Ashley faces a tough choice. You must decide which housemates to serve to receive their letters from home. <laughs> and housemates turn on Julie. Julie asked Harvey, who would you nominate? Prince. Prince I... Lorenzo said, I don't care how sweet she is. Underneath that sweetness, there's some bitter taste, I think. Julie has a hit list in here. I wonder if you guess who I'm going after. I don't, I don't play games. I can't bear it. No. I can only be me, just Julie. She almost got away with it. Out of all the people in the house, it's Bet Lynch. Some people got judgment days coming, right? They got judgment days. Eighteen nine thirty two AM. Last night, Samantha and Danica were evicted from the Big Brother house. With less than a week until the final, eight celebrities remain. Prince Lorenzo. What's in store for today? Ashley. Bullshit. Colleen. That's sadistic. Julie. Oh, come on. Martin. Peace, brother. The Situation. <laughs> Julian. Right. And Harvey. Shit. Colleen is worried about <sighs> Julie. Julie all right, Julian? Yeah. Okay. I was worried about her last night. Yeah, it's a bit shaky. Yeah, I knew she was shaken by that. The thing is, it's the first time she's had it, because she's not been up even for nomination. No. So she hasn't experienced even the booze or... And it's, so, it's shocking the first time, I think. It's really... I was devastated that first time when I heard booze. Julie is in the diary room. Julie, how was last night for you personally? Well... It wasn't pleasant. You know, evictions never are. Um, for me, and it, well, I don't think for anybody. And, you know, nominations are tough. But when you hear, you know, the crowd outside booing, that's horrible. Horrible. to take in. Julie, it is the last week now. What do you feel your your plan is for this last I week? I don't have plans. Because I'm not... Pay I, don't, I don't play games. I've not got any plans. Apart from... Well, and it's not a plan. I can only be me. Just Julie. Eleven thirty one. AM. Julie is sharing a concern with Colleen. We're going to have to get this balance sorted. Yeah. Because we can't have all the fellas. The what? Can't have all the fellas. Still in. <laughs> it's impossible. I don't know. They might love it. Hmm? They might love it. No. The lads. Come on. We've got to have some girl power. <laughs> got to. No. How many girls have gone out? Is it five girls now? Have gone? Yeah. Wow. I know. It's not on. I don't get it. I know you said about the voters, but bloody hell. No. Well, I think it's because Certainly, the last two times, it's only been girls that have been up, hasn't it? Ashley wants a word with Prince Lorenzo. 
Last night, Julie took Harvey aside to discuss nominations. I ain't got a clue. But it could come up now. I know. I don't have a clue. Could it? 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 Told you, brother. Knife, brother. Big, bad knife. But we're very outnumbered. I know. It's hard, though, isn't it, when you just love them all? That's my problem. Like them all. It's my problem. Because I see good in everybody. Well. Always have. I've been disappointed. Come on, you know. Yeah. Who hasn't in your life? But I still see good in everybody, Colleen. And that's what makes it so hard for me. Especially when it comes to the reason. I, I mean, you know. I know, it's the reasons that are hard. I'm in exactly the same bloody boat. Because I genuinely like them all. Mm. Julian, of course, Prince, Martin. God, Julian's been Harvey. amazing with you, hasn't he? Everybody has to. No, I know, but Julian's been oh. like your right-hand man. And I love the camp. Yeah. I think there's a gay man's brain somewhere. There must be in here, because I get everything. You mm. know, the innuendos mm. and they... Do you know what, though, Jules? You look back and go, bloody hell, what a challenge and what an experience. Yeah. I know. Definitely. I've yeah. hated it and loved it all at the same time. And same here. I've learnt a lot about yeah. people, about myself. Has it changed your and opinions? I just... On certain people that you thought would have been yeah different yeah it has me coming up big brother's toughest ever punishment julie asked harvey to accompany her to the toilet and asked him who would you nominate all of julie's leopard print clothing and accessories will be confiscated until further notice leopard's hat one Spandex, leopard. This is only for nighttime. I think that's like the 10th pair of leopard pants. This is pants. lunchtime leopard. Twelve twenty-eight p.m. Earlier, Prince Lorenzo discovered that Julie was planning to nominate him, and now he's telling Martin. She's been as nice as sweetest woman to me and then she goes up to harvey and says let's get him let's get him that's what um ashley was telling me she went to harvey and said let's get him yes yeah, meaning who me I'm like what tactical voting what's going on it's wrong right because you're not allowed to influence other people's votes right so to me boom she's a game player yeah i don't attack until i'm attacked yeah and I've been attacked. Yeah. Oh, man. Well, I wonder if you guess who I'm going after. <laughs> <laughs> hard. I'm going after it hard. Anyway, don't say any more than that, because okay. you'll get into trouble. No, I'm not saying anybody's names. You can just, you know, wow. you can guess. You can guess <laughs> as you wish. I don't care how sweet she is. Wow. Underneath that sweetness, there's some bitter taste. There's no point in talking. Oh, oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> <laughs> oh, big brother. What are you doing to me titties? Oh, my God. Oh, Harvey. Oh, nice, though, isn't it? Not bad, sir. Yeah, exactly. Come on. <laughs> She's up to no good. And she's been an actress her whole life, right? Yeah. Yeah. This is good year, playing the game. Smart woman. 
Somewhat. I mean, she almost got away with it. Have you got leopard print in your house? Hey? Have you got leopard print in your house? Like a leopard. <laughs> I bet your room's like a bloody sexy, one of the sexy leopard print rooms, isn't it? Like a brothel. Uh, we can't talk about the word N, but it, it, she's going hard at Princey and Colleen today or tomorrow, whenever that's happening. Oh, yeah. And I don't know why she's going after Colleen. Maybe she's... It, maybe, Except she's you the You never only... know, maybe nominations, if there's one female, they have to stay. And then you have to pick, like, maybe the rules are. we got to check the rules. Maybe no, it has to. No. 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 It could be all male? Yeah. Okay. No, but I, I think regardless, she wants to be the last female in the house. To her, that's a win. Right? The last you're, female well, you're standing. You're going to see to that. You're going to see to that. <laughs> um, you know, I'm going to try to... You're going to try to sway... So tilt that scale. Yeah, we can't talk something. about the word... Just, N, just yeah. in, in general, I'm going to try to... In general, yeah. Tilt something. You must, you're not allowed to pick anyone out. I'm when not picking anyone. Talk, it's got to be general, yeah. Not, not picking anyone at all? Yeah. <laughs> Two or three p.m. Julian, Colleen, and Julie are talking about their loved ones outside the house. I must go in and give a message to my daughter. Oh, that just would be to, lovely. Just to say, because she starts high school on Monday. Oh, come on, yeah. Oh. I'd love to speak to so but oh, on the God. other hand, it could finish me off. Do you know what I mean? I know, but I, I would. I've yeah. never not spoken to my parents for this long. God. In my life. I've never been away from Scott once in 16 years. Have you not? Oh, God, that drives me mad. In the diary room, Prince Lorenzo is fighting back. I feel very slow that it took me this long to figure out that she's actually playing a game. Um, she's, a, she's a sweet woman, but... Uh, she's in here to win, and I think she'll do anything to to win, and I was a little slow picking that up. What's brought you to this realization? A few things. She's attacking the women of the house, and I think, personally, she wants to be the last female standing. Things were overheard where she was doing a conspiracy theory against me and going against me. As soon as I've been attacked, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to fight back, and I'm going after her. Julie's playing a very, very good game. I'm going to do what I can to make sure that, uh, that she goes before I do. Obviously, I feel bad um, having to defend myself against a, a sweet woman who's 70 years old, and, and I want to be the, the, the bigger, better person. However, I don't feel it's justified that I was attacked, and I think I'd be a coward if I didn't stand up for myself. And um, Internally, I feel I, I have to, and, and, I, and I think it is the right thing. Just going to change. Oh. I'm never going to have that conversation. You're not? No. Things pass, don't they? They don't really matter. I can't bear it. No. Don't get me wrong. I've ranted about it at times, but... I can't do it. And you know, if she was horrible, like horrible to me to my face or whatever, I'd fight back. Mm. But we haven't. We've been polite with each other all the way through and I just don't want to cause an atmosphere and I don't want her to feel uncomfortable and I don't want her to have to explain anything. I, I'm kind of at peace with it and I don't think there's any need. I'm not excusing anything how it made me feel, but I can't do it. Not now. I think last night really rocked her and I don't want to rock her anymore. Three fifty eight PM Big oh. Brother has gathered housemates to make an announcement. Might be a cheerful task. Oh, I hope so. Yeah. This is Big Brother. As housemates are aware, it is against the rules to discuss nominations. Last night at 10.22pm, Julie asked Harvey to accompany her to the toilet and asked him, who would you nominate? 
Harvey replied, I ain't got a clue. Julie suggested, Prince? Finally, Harvey warned, we can't talk about it, Nana, because I know we'll get into trouble. Then today, at 12.29 p.m., Prince Lorenzo and Martin were discussing what Julie had said to Harvey. Prince Lorenzo said, I don't attack until I'm attacked, and I've been attacked. Oh well, I wonder if you guess who I'm going after. Hard. Going after it hard. Martin warned, anyway, don't say any more than that, or you'll get into trouble. To which Prince I Lorenzo can... said, you can guess as you wish. I don't care how sweet she is. Underneath that sweetness, there's some bitter taste, I think. In a separate conversation at 12.44 p.m., <laughs> Ashley, Martin, Prince Lorenzo and the situation were talking about Julie. The situation said, I'll tell you what she, we can't talk about the word N, but she's going hard at Princey and Colleen today or tomorrow or whenever that's happening. <laughs> Prince Lorenzo said, and I don't know why she's going after Colleen. The situation speculated, maybe nominations, if there's one female, they have to stay. Then you have to pick, like, maybe the rules are, we've got to check the rules. <laughs> <laughs> Julie, Prince Lorenzo and the situation will be punished for these rule breaks. Oh, dear. Firstly, all of Julie's leopard print clothing and accessories will be confiscated until further notice. I have nothing else. Julie must gather all of her leopard print clothing and accessories and Prince Lorenzo in the situation must bring them to the diary room. Got it? Yep. Alright. Right, let's go in the God. diary room. Oh dear. I feel terrible. Do you? Uh, well, well, I do. Because, I just don't... because I was in so much shock, I, just I don't, don't even remember it. I was merely stating that that uh, there was a little bit of divide and that uh, I, my theory was certain people were going to go at certain people and, and say nominate. Everybody's allowed to their opinion. I, I can't even remember that because is... of the emotion of the... Well, I responded to... Really? I responded to a comment. So don't think badly. No, I'm, I'm, I'm not. Because I don't. It's a, I no. don't. Well... Listen, it is what it is, right? It's just something I heard and I was gonna... Yeah, yeah. And I don't stay quiet when I hear stuff like that. Absolutely. But I didn't think I was doing anything wrong. No, don't take, just don't take it personally. <laughs> <laughs> you don't Bye, other... guys. Bye. Is that Bye. That? Something isn't adding up and yeah. hasn't for a while. I think... I think we found the answer to the riddle in here, to be honest with you. We think their punishment might be they've got to wear your leopard skin claim. Oh, I hope not. <laughs> All right. Hello, Prince Lorenzo. Hello, Big Brother. Hello, The Situation. Hello. Are you surprised to have been punished? Yes. Uh, yes. Are you kidding me? Well, I just said going at, meaning, you know, we feel that uh, Julie has a hit list in here. <laughs> <laughs> and I was just... Talking about something that happened last night, and I didn't bring up her name. She wasn't even in the room. I feel that I'm being unjustly punished. I think I deserve a, um, a, um, a reward. Yeah. A reward for finding out who the chameleon in here was. <laughs> we found the chameleon, and we've taken it. <laughs> and we've taken its skin. <laughs> we've taken her skin. Please, oh. could you take one item at a time and tell Big Brother what it is? Leopard's hat one. Leopard's hat, too. Spandex, leopard. It's a leopard uh, jacket, yes. It's a yeah. leopard o overcoat. Yes. Overcoat. Leopard ski jacket. <laughs> this is a leopard cut-off fur. This is a lighter shade of leopard, so you cannot see. Then another pair of identical, or I don't know what these are. Um, this is only for nighttime. And, oh, and this oh, is... Oh, that's cheetah. This is an entire outfit. Now, this is another shade of leopard, okay? <laughs> this is for the mornings. We have we have another shade of leopard. Oh my! What the fuck? Another shade Look of leopard? This. No freaking way! Yeah, this is a little darker shade. You know, when the sun is at its highest point. Sleeveless leopard. I think that's like the tenth this, pair of leopard. This is band. lunchtime leopard. Okay. The only thing is, I'm glad she's my G ma and she's not yours because she's about to eat you for breakfast. Oh, I know. Well. I know. I know. Prince Lorenzo and the situation. As you know, you also must be punished for breaking oh. the rules regarding discussion of nominations. I said going at. 
Under the chair is a box containing two costumes that you must wear until further notice. Oh, it's a leopard box, man. Are you serious? This? What about the top and the bottom? That's the outfit, boys. <laughs> what kind of shit is this? <laughs> what kind of shit is this? I mean... Do you think you can rock the leopard print, Luke? Yeah, I think I, I think we'll be all right for for an hour, half hour. Am Dude, I? Are you like hypnotizing <laughs> you yet? <laughs> thank you, Prince Lorenzo. Thank you. For the situation. You may now leave the diary room. <laughs> Great. Thank you. That's not too bad. Not too bad. Okay. They're quite nice. Oh, it's gonna be how long are you staying in? Uh, until further notice, most likely till t the next three days, most likely. <laughs> 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 potato sack. <laughs> fucking potato sack. It's a little chilly in here now. <laughs> <laughs> Coming up, Ashley's got a burning dilemma. Only half of the letters from home can be taken back into the house. The other half must be completely destroyed in the vat of acid. Yeah. And it's emotional. I want you to know how proud you make me and how much I love you. You know your beautiful Bubba Angel is fine and missing her daddy Harvey. How do you fancy being the owner of a brand new Fiat 500? We're giving you the chance to win this fantastic car, plus the following goodies. A 50-inch 3D TV, an iPhone 4S with 12-month subscription, a Samsung netbook laptop, an Xbox 360, a Samsung digital camera, his and hers click lock watches. To be in with a chance of winning this amazing prize, text BB to 8559 or send your name and phone number to BB Car, PO Box 7557, Derby DE10NP. Text costs £1.50 plus one message at standard network rate. Lines close at midday on the 10th of September and three days later for postal entries. For rules and winners, go to channel5.com slash win. Six ten p.m. Colleen is giving Harvey some special attention. <laughs> it's not easy to do it when someone keeps gyrating. Exactly. It's been two hours and twelve minutes since Julie and Prince Lorenzo were punished for saying they intended to nominate each other. I'm the type of person. I'm very laid back. I'm very relaxed. But when someone attacks me just my I don't know what it is but I I fight back like I I attack back it was my mistake yeah and you know like I I, I do I really care for you and I, I was know just, I know that and, and I know, you know I care for you yes and I know you don't hold grudges and I don't so no so we're and good. I honestly I can tell you from the bottom of my heart I was in shock after the you know the eviction last night and I swear Oh my, I don't even remember it's, it's, having a conversation. It doesn't. Okay, well, you know, I've told you this from day one. I, I, I don't hold grudges. I, I'm emotional at times, and I react certain ways and yeah. I, that I shouldn't at times. And I wish... We all do. And I, I you know, and I shouldn't have said it's anything. It's okay. It's okay, honestly. But we're, we're listen, I know We're both cool with it. I'm totally cool with it. All right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Come on. And I will remain cool with it, although I'm in leopard underwear because of it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 7.07 p.m. For 18 days, housemates have had no contact with their loved ones, but that could all change with today's task, the acid test. This is Big Brother. Would one housemate come to the diary room? Uh, uh, about? what? Mail and acid? Oh my god, it's the mail. Oh um, my god, it's the uh, mail letters. Hello, Ashley. Hello. Big Brother is very happy to tell you 
that yeah. Big Brother has received letters from home for all housemates. Yeah. Unfortunately, only half of the letters from home can be taken back into the house. Yeah. The other half must be completely destroyed in the vat of acid. Yeah. You must decide which housemates deserve to receive their letters from home. Oh, God. He can... Oh, my God. Oh, boy. He can do mine in acid. Oh. It don't matter. Ashley, please take two letters out of the mail sack and place them in the stands on the table. Oh, don't. Don't do this to me. Poor Ashley. You must now make a oh. very tough decision. Oh. One of these letters must be destroyed in the acid, and the other letter will be safe and may be taken back into the house. Ashley, which letter will drop into the acid? The only reason I'll probably pick Julian's, Julie's, due to the fact is what she did today or yesterday night wasn't really good. Otherwise, I would pick Harvey's because I know he's a strong character and he can handle it. Sorry, George. Oh, fucking hell. This is not fucking good. Oh. Harvey's letter is now safe. You'll be able to deliver this later. Ashley, please take two more letters out of the mail sack and place them in the stands on the table. It's only a game. I've held in a few days. Put your own in, Ash. If you wish to read your letter, you must destroy Julian's in the acid. You definitely put my own in. Rather, Julian received his letter. You must drop your own letter into the acid. Which letter are you going to choose, Ashley? I'll choose myself. No, no. Oh, I feel so sorry for him. I oh, really look so upset. Ashley, you chose him to destroy your own letter. You must now drop your own letter into the acid. Thanks, Mum. Oh, oh, lad. I can't bear it. I can't. Ashley, you have chosen Martin and Colleen. Oh, God. Put mine in Which of these housemates do you think is missing their loved ones the most? Um, I know Martin is a strong character like myself. I know Colleen's a strong character. But I think as a father, he can hold out for another week. Oh, man. Sorry, brother. I know. If you want the strongest housemates, but well, it's my bell in my heart now. Oh, okay. Fucking hate this shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the two guys. Prince Lorenzo and the situation. I, I, um, I can go without mine. This is a tough one. This is your final dilemma, actually. Which letter well, are you actually, going to drop fine, into the acid? We're fine. Oh, fucking hell. Why did I fucking fast myself up and get in that seat? Fucking hell. Shouldn't have done this. Do you know what? Fuck it. I'm putting this one in Prince Lorenzo's. house. I love the guy to bits, man, but the situation's had a... Fucking... It's nothing I could do, man. It's... I think all the people I haven't picked, hopefully you understand once or tell them. Of course we will. Everyone got to sacrifice something for others then, so... I think we should all stand and cheer him when he comes out. Mm-hmm. Because that was bloody hard. It really was.
Actually, Big Brother will deliver the letters that you chose to save to housemates later on today. Thanks. Ash, don't worry about it, man. You destroyed yours, too. I feel like a wrung out rag. Again. That was terrible for him as well, wasn't it? Yeah, it's not nice. Seven twenty-eight p.m. God, I wanted that letter. But be, uh, be honest, I, I would have been fine for him to put it away because I normally don't accept letters because it makes me upset. I just never accept. But of letters. course, when it was Julian Harvey, it's understandable that he would do that. I get it. I never. I would never bear a grudge. Never. When do you think we get the letters, then? Uh, a bit tight, don't you? A bit, um... I bet someone has to pick them up from the hatch, and then, uh, somebody has to read them to somebody else. I know what my mother... If it's from my mother, she won't write anything sentimental at all. Which yeah. Is funny. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> one feels obliged to cry, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, if I must. <laughs> <laughs> Deep down, I'm not going to make a decision. So. No, you, you really have. It's the main thing, that. Because oh, man. Right, what people tell you is not always what yeah. it seems. Yeah. Like, I see Martin and he looks pissed. He wasn't. He was so upset about you, I swear to God. He said to, he, so he said to me, like, oh, like, it's only a week, like, you know what I mean, like, doesn't really matter, like, kind of, like, he wasn't, he wasn't bothered like me, do you know what I mean? He really wasn't bothered. Like, he but was... I think he's been playing that all the way along. I'm not bothered, I'm not bothered, but I think he really is. <laughs> but, ultimately, for anyone that's here till the end, it's now less than a week. I know. Not the end of the it world. Was then, I know Prince, that obviously. Yeah. He's OK, because he's, he's that kind of person. Yeah. All the time, I know Martin, there's kids, do you know what I mean? And, and, and yeah, but they're grown up as, as kids. Mm. You know. You did great in there, man. You did you great. great. Oh. Everybody thinks so. Nine or three PM. Earlier, Ashley won letters from home for Colleen, Harvey, Julian and the situation by destroying those meant for the rest of the housemates. The situation has chosen Harvey to read his letter. I hope you're enjoying London. I want you to know how proud you make me and how much I love you. I miss you so very much and can't wait for you to come home. I am so happy you get to enjoy this once in a lifetime experience. You were destined for greatness and it makes me so happy as a mother to see you live out your dreams. There are so many wonderful things in store for you and I'm so happy I'm able to be by your side to share in this amazing time. Love you always, Mama Peaches. Mm. 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 <laughs> Hello, my junior. Well, what a pleasure it has been watching your handsome face these last few weeks. Keep doing what you're doing, giving us plenty of smiles and keeping it real. You're, you know your beautiful Bubba Angel is fine and missing her daddy Harvey. Big and bigger hugs and kisses sent from your princess. 
Remember your nan never watched Big Brother before, now it's her favourite show, can't imagine why. Everyone you care about and love are so proud of you, none more so than your mum. You will be so surprised the love that's been shown to me by so many people. Love you son, stay cool, stay blessed, Mama. Julian, I'm so pleased to get the opportunity to send you a message. I know how you worry about us. We all miss you, of course, and it's strange not to have the phone call each evening. Everyone I have spoken to sends you love, and that includes family, friends, Meryl, Rolf, people from the Bowls Club. Much love, Em. P.S. Isn't it time you changed your pyjamas? <laughs> <laughs> I like you. <laughs> Thank you. Just didn't mention the cat. No. I just the cat. <laughs> Fuck you. <coughs> oh, God. What he said. <laughs> oh, God. Hi, Carl. I just want to say how proud me and the kids are of you. And thanks for saying you don't miss us. <laughs> but it's okay. We don't miss you either. <laughs> ha ha. Of course we do, really. Can you please stop crying now? Oh, God. And remember, it's just a game because you'll be wishing you were back in there when you see the pile of washing you've got to do when you get out. <laughs> Everyone's rooting for you, and you are doing us all proud. So just keep being yourself. We all love you very much. So enjoy the break from us lot, whilst you can, because we're waiting for you. Love Ray, Shane, Jake, and Kim. Kira. Sorry. Oh, thank you. From Acid Test to Acid House. And the situation has big plans. I might want to put together something with, with, with you and your people. Something, something real elaborate like a show that would be worth a lot of wrecks. Ten twenty three. PM. Get sorted, mate. Earlier, for today's task, Ashley destroyed letters from home for half the house by dissolving them in acid. To lift spirits, Big Brother has thrown the celebrities an acid house party. See me arsing me. Bye bye. Get sorted. Cindy. Set the lights off. Yes. Oh, I see. Oh, yeah. It's a party girl. This is Big Brother. Everybody in the place, get ready to feel the love. Yeah. Let's go.
Is this what the 90s was about? Where, where? I don't know. I don't know. I was too busy bringing up kids. <laughs> Eleven eighteen p.m. The situation has big plans for a collaboration yeah. with Harvey. Yeah, I mean, I might want to. I might want to put together something with 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 you and your people. Yeah, we'll and my so people. We we'll do something you crazy. Know what I'm saying something something real elaborate, like a show that would be worth a lot I of could wrecks. Some, I got a some lot of wrecks. Hardcore people from from out here. Long, yeah, but I want to put together something sick. Colleen is quizzing Julian about his sexuality. When did you first realise you were gay? I was called gay from about nine, you know, because I was a very effeminate child. Yeah. And I thought, how boring if, if I am. But then, then I, I kind of thought I was and everyone else thought I was. And so there was never any kind of... Issue. No, there was never any announcement required no. from me. But, but that's quite good, though. Uh, on your part, really, is that you never had that whole struggle yeah. of uh, coming out because that's, that's that is painful for lots of guys. Oh, I get so mm. many letters about yeah, really men, right. a lot of grown men coming out. It's awful when people get to their forties or something and yeah. they still don't do anything about it. Yeah. But I also think it's difficult for a parent because I think some parents know, but you can't say to your kid, "Are you gay?" My parents yeah, my sent, sent a message via my sister saying, oh, really? just to, you know, if you are gay, you just want me to know that it's, it's not fine. a problem. Yeah. Yeah. That was quite nice. I thought I'd really offended yeah. you then when I started. No, you haven't. No, um, You're just tired of yeah. answering it. The truth is, you can't actually really remember. No. You know. I didn't lose my virginity till I was 19. Yeah. But when, when people ask, when did you know, you know, it's a sort of grey area, isn't it? One o one a.m. With the party over, some of the housemates have retired to bed. Martin is talking to Big Brother about Julie. I think Julie had a real shock today because we all know about her uh, tactical voting efforts, which uh, I had to laugh at today because out of all the people in the house, who would you suspect to be the biggest game player? And it's Bet Lynch. <laughs> it's got to make me laugh. She's the biggest game player. But I haven't seen anyone else really play the game in this house so blatantly as they're trying to turn other people, or trying to get, you know, other people to vote and to nominate other House members. I've never seen that before in the last couple of weeks. But um, I'm glad someone's done it, and it's just interesting that it's, it's Julie. Julie is also the hot topic of conversation in the garden. She, she's been saying, oh, I don't understand it, and I don't remember last night. I was so stressed and all that. <laughs> And then follows me around the kitchen trying I, to do it again. I see it, Colleen. I see, Following me all day. I see everything, you know. It was like today, eventually, then I said to her, because she did it in the kitchen, then she did it out here. She didn't mention names, but she just kept going, you know, we're the only two girls, we've got to stick together. And I just went, oh, well, we can't talk about it, so. If you didn't have um, Julian, do you know what I mean? But. But you know what? It is what it is. <coughs> it is what it is. It is what it is. But then don't say you're not playing games. The thing about playing games or, or not being yourself is, if we were only in here for a week, you could keep it up. Of course you could. But three and a half weeks, you cannot keep that up on a 24-hour bed. Is you can't. Possible. You you can't. Possible. And that's where they fall apart. A, t a, t a <sighs> test of a true person, like you've dealt with a lot of storms. Yeah. Yeah. But some people got judgment days coming where. They got judgment days. Turn over to 
five star now.